so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi! And I'm just searching for things to put in my sinker float kit. Alright, I already have a lot of toys in here. And then we need to put some more things. So then we can put it in our giant tank and see what sinks or floats. Hey, look! A water bottle! <laughs> okay. Oh! Ooh! A flamingo teacup! <laughs> Whoa, what else is around here? Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! Tools! I love building things. Especially with screwdrivers. And wrenches. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Down here, another thing we can see if it sinks or floats. Yeah, toothbrush. I love brushing my teeth. Yeah, it gets them nice and clean. <gasps> Whoa, hey, some flowers. Oh, they smell so good. <laughs> All right, okay, let's take them over here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. We get to throw all these things in this giant pool! And then we'll see if they sink or float. All right, let's start with the flowers. Do you think they'll sink or float? <laughs> yeah, they float. All right, here's the water bottle. Whoa! 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 It floats! Oh! I bet you know what these are gonna do. Yeah, the tools, the screwdriver, and the pliers. Yep, they went all the way down to the bottom. That means they sink. Oh, let's see, let's take some of these toys. Oh, a little turtle. Whee! Oh, that one sinks as well. Bye-bye! Whoa, look at all these other things. All right, let's uh, put this to pool toy in there. Woohoo! Yeah! It floats! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! A soccer ball. Some countries call this a football. <laughs> Ready? Whoa! It floats as well! Whoa! Yep! Barbecue! Tools. BBQ. <laughs> Here we go. Where'd they go? Oh, they went all the way down to the bottom. That means they sink. Hey, look. Some apples. Check this out. Whee! <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if these apples will sink or float. Woohoo! Hey, all three of them float. reading, especially newspapers. They are so exciting. <laughs> That's what my grandparents would say. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, look, those newspapers float. Hey. Someone had to write all those words on the newspaper and they might have started with a pencil on paper. Yeah. And look at this, it's a pencil. Here we go. Hey, it floats. That giant pencil floats. Ooh. Do you know what this is? <laughs> it shields me from the rain. Keeps me nice and dry. It's an umbrella. Woo, here we go. <laughs> hey, that floats too. Soap dispenser. I love washing my hands. Do you? <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, where'd it go? <laughs> it went down to the bottom. That must mean it sinks. Wow. Have you ever used one of these things before? This is a, uh, uh, a cooler. Yeah, you typically put a lot of ice and drinks in here. But for now, it's really empty. 
So that must mean it's probably really buoyant and not very dense. So I bet you, you know if this will sink or float. Ugh! Whoa, look at it. It floats. Yeah. So that means it's less buoyant than water. All right, here we go. Here goes a watermelon. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh! oh, it broke apart. Oh no. Oh, but it floats. Oh, that's so silly. Oh, huh. Oh. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay, let's take this and scoop some of that out. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> some watermelon chunks. Oh, that looks yummy. Okay, let's put it right over here. Hey, wait a second. Did you see me use this pool skimmer? Yeah, this is what you use to scoop things out of the water. Yeah, like these apples over here. Yeah, remember those from earlier? <laughs> Let's put those aside. Hey, I wonder if this floats or sinks. It's pretty light. I think it's hollow inside. Let's see. Yep, it definitely floats. There's a lot of other cool things around here. So, let's use, whoa! That is heavy. Ugh. Oh, this is a bag full of sand. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Ugh. Here we go! I bet this is gonna sink. Ugh. Whoa! That made a big splash. Wow. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five more things. Let's throw them in. One, two, three, four, and five. All five of these things looks like they float. Huh, there's not much else. Wait a second. I have an idea. I wonder if I would sink or float. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, stop right there. Hey, remember, you should never jump into a pool unless a grown up is with you. <laughs> All right, here we go. I guess I float. <laughs> That's so silly. Well, that was so much fun learning about buoyancy with you and density to see what sink and what floats. All right, I guess I'll go for a swim. <laughs> see you later. Time for an adventure. What games are we playing today? Let's splash in the water. We can play together all day. Let's go grab our toys. Will this one sink or will it float? Maybe jump on my ski jet, cruising along. Here we go. Now everybody sing along and splish, splash. In the water, playing all together Let's go time for a splash Splish, splash In the water, playing all together Let's go time for a splash Splish, splash In the water, playing all together Let's go time for a splash Splish, splash In the water, playing all together Let's go time for a splash Water. Let's play with the fishes, come on! Swim along with Flippy, learn and exploring all day long. Diving deep down under, what new things are we gonna see? A new world awaits us, we can see the fishes swimming in, swimming in the deep blue sea, splish, splash. Underwater playing with the fishes Yes, it's time to play Splish, splash Underwater It's the blippy way To learn and play all day Splish, splash Underwater playing with the fishes Yes, it's time to play Splish, splash Underwater It's the blippy way To learn and play all day So much to learn about It'll make you wanna 
one for all. Together, we can win it all. Dribble the ball and pass some more. Kick and score, that's what we got in store. I'm too bad, it's time to swing. It's a home run, we all win. Are you a team player? Let me hear you cheer. Are you a team player? Let your friends take the wheel. Teamwork is dream work. We play together. Run past and score. Make friends forever. Teamwork is dream work. We play together. Run past and score. can win it all! Sports takes skills You learn something new Practice and practice Is what you gotta do Teamwork is dream work We play together Run, pass and score Make friends forever me, Blippi, and today I'm at LA Bubble Soccer in Northridge, California. And check it out, this is a soccer ball. Yeah, some countries call it a football. <laughs> Whoa, it's so fun to play with. Whoa, whoa, check this out. <laughs> this is another soccer ball. Whoa, and this football, soccer ball, is really big. And this one is small. <laughs> I love playing with soccer balls. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. <gasps> What's this? Whoa, it looks like a bubble. Yeah, bubble. <laughs> bubble ball. This sport is called bubble ball. <laughs> it's basically like soccer football, but you get inside these bubbles with your body, and then you play soccer and football. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa! The first thing that you have to do before you play bubble ball is get inside the bubble ball. Okay. Hey, did you hear how I said inside? Yeah, that means I am outside the bubble ball. Do you know what an opposite is? An opposite is the exact reverse of something, totally different. So if I'm outside and then I need to go inside, inside and outside are opposites. So now that I'm outside, let me get inside. What is the opposite? What is the opposite? What is the opposite of inside the ball? Outside the ball, outside the ball. Outside's the opposite of inside the ball. Hey, this is pretty tricky, but see these straps? You put it on like a backpack. And you put it in just like this. Whoa, whoa, hey, hello. <laughs> Do you see me? Whoa, <laughs> all right. Now it's time to have some fun. Now it's time for a real game of bubble ball. I brought some friends so we can play. Here we go.
been so much fun. Goal for the Reds! Energy, go for Blippi! Oh, I am so tired! And Team Blue won! Woohoo! Everyone did a really good job at Bubble Ball today. Oh. Oh, I am so hot and sweaty right now. Oh, do you see this? Oh, hey, I have an idea. The opposite of hot is cold. I have a fan right here. See? Whoa, maybe if I put the fan, I will become cold. Oh, yeah, it's working. Oh, brr. Oh, I'm so cold now. Oh, I used to be hot, and then now I'm cold. <laughs> oh, well, this was so much fun learning about bubble ball with you and opposites. Yeah, I love learning with you. But this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you later.
Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was bored already. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, 
It definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me b-l-i P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when you enter a kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now I can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah! Whoa! These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow, and blue. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa! Look at this! Some yummy vegetables! Hey! You know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah! This is an orange pepper! <laughs> Look at these! Yeah, some green beans! I sure do love vegetables! Alright! <laughs> I'm so excited! Wow! I am so excited! This is gonna be tasty! I am looking at the recipe of what we're going to be making today. Looks like we're going to be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is going to be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're going to be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Ooh, a small one, a medium sized one, another medium sized one, and a big one. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh. Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see, is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this, it's a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, so cute. This is a small rolling pin. 
Whoa! And this is a big rolling pin! Whoa! They're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because we can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah! Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. And flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa, okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream, okay. Put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools. But this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure. I hey. Brought, hey, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna wanna do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna wanna make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. go and perfect great job Lippy. Thank all you. right next we're gonna want to crack an egg okay Let's see so at young chefs academy we crack an egg using the table not the edge of the counter so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess okay <laughs> you want to crack hard whoop, and use your thumbs to break open the egg just like that perfect you'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl okay here we go Table. There we go. Great job, Lippy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So it looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, I'll just use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right, in the same bowl? Yeah, oh, so sorry, in a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices. Which okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. 
There we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Salt is so yummy. There we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Well, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right. Next, we're going to want to put our egg into this mixing bowl. The clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay. Go. Put the egg in this bowl. Ooh oh. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna want to use a little bit of water. Water like this. In with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. Okay. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa. Did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. Grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now. They're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right, now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not going to touch the egg with this hand. We're gonna put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay, take the fork out. And now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay, wow, look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good. <laughs> that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you wanna put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are gonna be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I 
think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right, there we go. Awesome. Now we're going to want to do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. All righty. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're going to want to get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready. And we're going to use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, okay. <laughs> Next, we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay, a little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. Give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrist. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we wanna juice our lemon. So okay. you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half and we'll use our juicer here. We wanna make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around. Get all of that juice out. Okay. Yes, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Good oh, job. Yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> okay. There's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay. Here we go. That up. All right, Yum. now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt, right like this. Okay, put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay, one. Two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Just remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. Be delicious. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow! Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Whoa! Check them out! Oh my gosh! All right, Blippi. It looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Oh, good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. Silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of foods. Yeah, like these 
yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> Good job cooking. <laughs> Ooh. Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum! It was so tasty! Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Blippi! Good job! Alright! See you again. Bye bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy.